إن الحمد لله يعني هو الاستعين والاستغفر ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون يا أيها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحدة وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والأرحام إن الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم أعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما. اما بعد فان اصدق الحديث كتاب الله وخير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الامور محدثاتها وكل محدثه بدعه وكل بدعه ضلاله وكل ضلاله في النار. The back, it is not allowed during the Jum'ah khutbah to talk. Please, this is haram. We have to listen to the khatib. Jazakumullah khairan. Yaqul Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala وَلَا تَهِنُوا فِي بِتِغَاءِ الْقَوْمِ إِن تَكُونُوا تَأْلَمُونَ فَإِنَّهُمْ يَأْلَمُونَ كَمَا تَأْلَمُونَ وَتَرْجُونَ مِنَ اللَّهِ مَا لَا يُرْجُونَ وكان الله عليما حكيما. سورة النساء. Allah says. And don't weaken in pursuit of the enemy. If you should be suffering, so are they suffering as you are suffering. But you expect from Allah that which they expect not. And Allah is ever knowing and wise. The Muslims. Fight. They prepare to fight the kuffar. They lose some of their friends. They lose the money. They lose the women. And the same thing, the kuffar, the non-Muslims, the disbelievers. Also, they prepare to fight the Muslims. They lose sometimes their friends, their wealth. So the same thing. If you see from this side, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned one difference, a big difference, very important difference. And you are waiting something from Allah. What you are waiting from Allah? The Jannah, the paradise. When you fight, when you pray, when you fast, when you seek knowledge. The Sharia knowledge. When you are good to your parents, your wife, your children, when you give the zakah, when you do Hajj, Umrah, when you do the liquor, for what? The true Muslim is doing this, waiting for the This is the very important motivation for the Muslim. Not the money. Many people think that the biggest thing to make you working hard is the money. No. The belief that Allah will give you Jannah, the paradise. So what is this Jannah? What is inside this Jannah? In this khutbah, I will talk briefly about the Jannah, about Something we are working hard. I need the Muslims working hard for this. You forget everything in dunya when you are in the I mean every hardship in dunya. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Prophet, sorry, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa mentioned, only one thing in the Jannah, you will forget everything in dunya. You suffer in dunya. <coughs> You were very poor, your wife too sick, you lost your children in a car, car accident, you lost your country. You are 
suffering. Always. In the Akhirah, if you are in Jannah, it is only one death in the Jannah will forget everything. And the cause of the opposite. If he is living in dunya, in peace, wealth, health, he is healthy, his wife with him, his children, his parents, what will happen in the Akhirah? Only one death in the Hedvah, he will forget everything good in that dunya. So, what is inside the Jannah? What is the description of Jannah? What will you get, inshallah, in Jannah? The Muslims, after praying five times, fasting Ramadan, Hajj, Zakah, working, what they will get? يقول النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم قال الله تعالى أعددت لعبادي الصالحين ما لا عين رأت ولا أذن سمعت ولا خطر على قلب بشر. The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم mentioned that Allah سبحانه وتعالى said I prepared for my slaves means the believers. What they cannot imagine, even imagine, they cannot. They did not see, they did not hear. Then Abu Huraira recited this ayah: "فَلَا تَعْلَمُ نَفْسٌ مَا أُخْفِيَ لَهُمْ مِنْ قُرَّةِ أَعْيُنٍ جَزَاءً بِمَا كَانُوا يَعْمَلُونَ." No person knows what is kept hidden for them. Of joy as a reward for what they used to do. You cannot imagine. <coughs> but no doubt, everything good. In the pavement, in the jungle. What is inside the jungle? The Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَلِيُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ سَنُدْخِلُهُمْ جَنَّاتٍ تَجْرِي مِنْ تَحْتِهَا الْأَنْهَارِ خالدين فيها أبدا وعد الله حقا ومن أصدق من الله قيلا. But those who believe in the oneness of Allah and do deeds of righteousness, we shall admit them to the gardens under which rivers flow to dwell therein forever. This is number one. You will be in the jannah forever. It is not like that summer vacation, two or three months. This is forever in the Jannah. You will not come back to the dunya to pray and fast and give zakat. In the Jannah, forever. Allah will, give, will bring that, will bring her a sheep. And everybody, the Muslims and non-Muslims, Know what is this sheep? What is this sheep? Al Mahmud, the death. Then the death will be slaughtered in front of everybody. The believers will be very happy. Why? Because they know they will not die again. They will be in the Jannah forever. And for the kuffar, for the disbelievers, it will be a hell for them. Why? Because they know they will be in the hell forever. So this is number one. It is not temporary, it is permanent. Forever. Number two on the Jannah. يقول الله سبحانه وتعالى ونزعنا ما في صدورهم من غل إخوانا على سور متقابلين And we shall remove from their breasts any sense of injury. You will not, you will not Take your brother. Nothing in the other like this. In dunya, maybe we are in the same message. But I I don't talk to that brother. Why? Because last year he said something bad to me. I don't talk to my sister. Because I asked her the help, she did not help me. So in dunya, in dunya we'll find this among the Muslims. But in the other, nothing. This is a big name. Very good. You live in the Jannah peacefully. You love everyone in the Jannah, in the paradise. You don't hate anyone. 
you don't know the, the term to hate, to dislike. You like everything there, paradise. This is number two. Number three. What you say, what is your greeting to others? When you meet your brother, you say salam. It means peace, be open. No fighting. No insulting. No shouting. Peace. And salam will be their greetings therein. Means in the paradise. Salam, 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 peace, peace. The real peace in that. Jannah in the paradise. And this is what the people want now. They need the peace. But of course, you will not find that complete peace in dunya. Maybe you'll find it sometime. Not the whole time. Or in one place, not all places. But in the Jannah, the whole time. All places. Peace. What you hear, لا يسمعون فيها لغو ولا تأثيما. No love, dirty talk, false, evil, make talk. Will they hear then? Nor any sinful speech. No backbiting in the Akhirah, in the Jannah. Backbiting, insulting, feeling ill to others. Nothing like this in the Akhirah. And do you find this? Maybe immediately after the salah, your friend will talk, will backbite another friend, talking bad to others, about others. In the akhirah, everything is good. Peace, no love, useless talk, nothing like this. What you step in the Jannah, the soil in Jannah made of musk, musk. The Prophet ﷺ mentioned the best perfume is musk. This will be under you all the time. And another narration, Zafaran. Can you imagine this? Zafaran is very expensive now. For maybe one gram, three kd. So how much if it is full of this masjid? Millions. No, the whole Jannah. Musk and Zafaran. This is what you said. As the Prophet mentioned, you cannot imagine. Rivers are different types of rivers. Yabullah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Matur al Jannati al Lati wa'id al Muttafun. Fiha anharu min ma'i al Ghayri asin. Wa anharu min laban al Lam yatayyar ta'am. Wa anharu min khabri al Ladati li shahirin. Wa anharu min asar al Musaffa. Allah mentioned four types of rivers in the Jannah. <coughs> the first one in there is the description of paradise. Rivers of water. غير آسن Not altered. The scholars mentioned, why Allah spoke? What is the wisdom Allah mentioned this? Because in dunya, if you keep the water for some time, Maybe for one month, two months, what will happen? You'll see, notice the dates, the white dates, oh, it is altered. It will change. It will not be pure. And the other, no. 24 hours, the water is clean. The same, the same quality, perfect. Rivers of milk, leban. لم يتغير طعم. The taste is the same. Why? Because here in dunya, if you keep the lemon, the milk, for some time, it will change. A sour taste. That's why there is an expiry date. If it is a fresh milk, maybe one week. And the akhirah, no, it is the same. You enjoy everything in the akhirah. The same one. وَأَنْهَارٌ مِّنْ خَبْرِ اللَّذَّةِ لِلْشَّارِيِّ This is very important. Rivers of wine. You enjoy this khamr. لَذَّةِ لِلْشَّارِيِّ Very tasty. Not the khamr in dunya. And be careful. Those who drink khamr in dunya, the Prophet ﷺ mentioned they will not drink it in the akhirah. 
Why? Because in dunya it is haram for the kuffar, but in the akhirah for the Muslims. And the fourth one, وَأَنْهَارٌ مِنْ عَسَلٍ مُصَفَّى It was honey. Pure honey. No dates, no microbes. No bacteria inside this honey. It is pure. Can you imagine this? We cannot imagine this. But if you work hard, you will see this in the Akhirah. That's why we have to work hard for this na'im, for this beauty in the Akhirah. What is the best in the Akhirah? What is the best thing in the Akhirah? I mean, what is the best thing, the best, the best gift in the Jannah, the paradise? يقول الله سبحانه وتعالى للذين أحسن الحسن وزيادة. For them who have done good is the best and extra. الحسن the best is the paradise. Extra what is extra? The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم explained this. You look at Allah سبحانه وتعالى. This is the best name when you see Allah سبحانه وتعالى. This is the best thing. The Prophet mentioned in hadith, when the people of Jannah enter Jannah, Allah will tell them, do you need anything more? What do you want? The believers will answer Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, so you make our faces white, beautiful, nice. You make us to enter Jannah, you save us from the empire. So what is more than this? They think this is the best thing. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, after this, what he will do subhanahu wa ta'ala, he will uncover his face. Because there is a cover. As the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentioned in another hadith, hijabuhu al-nur. What is his cover subhanahu wa ta'ala on his face? Al-nur, the light. So at that time, at that moment, he will uncover the believers who look at Allah. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. يقول النبي عليه الصلاة والسلام فما أعطوا شيئا أحب إليه من النظر إلى ربهم. Nothing was given to them better than looking at Allah. So this is the best na'im. That's why the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم used to ask Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala a dua or there is a dua in the sunnah. What you say, Allahumma inni as'alka lakdat al-nadar ila wajh, wa shawqa ila liqa'i. Ask Allah, oh Allah, I ask you to look at you, your face, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wa shawqa ila liqa'i. And also, give me the love of your meeting. Meet Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala. So try your best to make this dua in sujood, between adhan and liqama, before salam. Before giving salam on the salah. Not after the salah. The sunnah, you make dua before the salah. After the salah, this is not from the sunnah. After the salah, you make dhikr. Astaghfirullah, astaghfirullah, not the dua. So try to make this dua at the end of the night. That I mean the third night of the, of the day. Before salah. Before salah. In your sujood. This is the biggest na'mah in Jannah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَجُوهُ يَوْمَ إِذٍ نَابِرًا إِلَىٰ رَبِّهَا نَابِرًا Some places that day will be ready. Very beautiful. Looking at their Lord, subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this is the biggest na'mah. If you know this description of the Jannah, of course this is a brief description. Then you will work hard. You will pray more. You will give sadaqah more. You will make little more. You will fast more. Not only Ramadan. Not also, now you will fast Monday, Thursday, the, three, the middle three days of the Arabic month. You will fast Ashura, coming after maybe 20 days. And Tasu'ah, the night of Muhammad. Try your best to be one of those who will enter Jannah. To be among those who 
would be with their prophets. Alayhi salatu wa salam. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you feel an alphabet. Allah, the Muslim, the Muslim, the Muslim,